My pomegranate gimlet takes the sweetness of pomegranate and the tang of lime and mixes them with the herbal qualities of gin to create a festive break cocktail. Hi everyone, welcome to today's episode of Let's Celebrate TV Cocktail Edition. I'm your host, Peter Lee. Today, we're making a fun little recipe. We're going to make a pomegranate gimlet. Sounds good, huh? So this is a great little recipe. And you know, I've been collecting recipes for years and people send them to me. They cut things out of magazines in the paper. And a friend sent this to me, oh, probably back in the late 90s. And I started making it and I introduced them to my husband. And now we drink them in the summertime. We drink them at Christmas. They're just delicious and everyone loves them. And even if you're not a gin drinker, this will change your mind. Let's get started. We're going to start with the gin. This is what I'm using today. You can use whatever gin you like. You need four ounces or 120 mils. You know, I like measuring with my measuring cup. None of this jigger stuff, the shaker new. No. Okay, first the gin. Pomegranate juice. Can't have a pomegranate gimlet without pomegranate. Two ounces or 60 mils. Right in. Looks fun already and kind of Christmassy. Next is fresh lime juice. Use fresh. Two ounces, 60 mils, same amount as the pomegranate. And then just one little ounce or 30 mils of simple syrup. Simple syrup is just equal parts water and sugar. You heat it on the stove gently until the sugar dissolves and then you just chill it. It lasts for a couple weeks. And what that's going to do, it's going to help the alcohol and the fruit juice bind together. All right. Now you know what's coming next, right? Our favorite part, the shaky shaky. So I've got my shaker all full of ice. Pour that in. Here we go. Ooh. All righty. Lovely. Now I have a chilled type of martini glass. This is called a coupe. Let me dump the ice and water out. And now we're going to strain this lovely drink. Now you think that looks just like a Cosmo, but it really isn't. The gin is what makes it different. We're going to garnish this with a little slice of lime. How beautiful is that? Now, my favorite part, the tasting. Mmm. That is good. Mmm. Unlike a Cosmo, this is more complex. The gin gives an herbalness. And the pomegranate has tartness that is highlighted by the lime. So it's refreshing, it's bright, and it goes down really easily. Mm. Definitely, I recommend this for you, our next celebration. So as always, we will have the recipe and the instructions up in the video description on YouTube and on our website. And remember, if you like this episode, hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, Hit the notification bell and you'll get a new episode every single week. So we'll see you on Tuesdays for our regular episodes and Fridays for either cocktail editions or basic skills. So until next time, you're all invited to come on over, come on in and let's celebrate. Cheers.